morning. Uh, it's day four. Short day today, about 3.9 miles total with coming out of this shelter. Uh, you can kind of see it way in the back there. Um, we're heading up Blood Mountain, that mountain right there. And then down the other side of Neil Gap and taking a Nero. Um, we're hoping to get to, um, I think it's called Mountain Crossing Outfitters by noon. And then uh, send some gear home that Tracy just isn't using. <laughs> Thought it would be a good idea to bring. Um, and then get some laundry done and get a shower and then reevaluate. We have some really, really, really bad weather coming this weekend. And everybody says in this time, this part of the area, when it sleets and ice and all that, you want to get off the trail. So we're going to try to evaluate and see what's going on. Maybe, Maybe get off for a few days, get back. See what's going on. So, um, oh, GPS just sent out. Good morning. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go up here, get some water, get back on the trail and get going. Beautiful day right now, though. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, one thing is Tracy said, thank God that this <laughs> video doesn't pick up smell because <laughs> we were both. Can you wear your clothes for three days, even though you have different clothes at night? We, the last two days, we we were prepared for it only to be in the 40s. It was 70 yesterday, so my clothes for 40 definitely uh, sweated a little bit. Your hair is looking rather ravient. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Some old mountain woman. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're going to get up on the trail, get up to the top of Blood Mountain and uh, grab some breakfast there. So we'll see you guys on up at the top. Alrighty, here we go. A thousand foot climb over a mile and a half. It's gonna be a rough one this morning. We're at 4147. Got about 300 more feet to go. It's getting beautiful.
All right, we made it to the top, 4,400 feet. It took us about an hour. Uh, we're gonna sit up here, get a little snack before we head back down to Neil Gap. Spend our Nero down there. Beautiful view up here, beautiful day. <laughs> that was a heck of a climb. All right, guys, we'll see you on down the trail. morning uh, we're about a mile away from Neil Gap here it's been all downhill as you can see it was pretty harsh <laughs> it was fun though it was a good time past a ton of day hikers going up probably 30 of them a lot of them didn't look like they were gonna make it to the top so all right guys we'll see you down here at Neil Gap This piles of shoes from people who started their through hike and didn't realize what they were about to get into. It's insane. Oh, I wonder if that's a size 13. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi. Uh, we are at Blood Mountain Cabins. Got into Neil Gap. Uh, ran into fresh ground. Fresh so ground. Exciting. Yeah, and actually got to talk to Hawk on the phone. Uh, congratulated him on his yo-yo going from Georgia to Maine and back down like some insane maniac. Um, and then Fresh Ground is helping three uh, southbounders, so we got to meet all three of those, and so they're two days away from finishing. Yeah. So we're taking a Nero here today. Um, we're looking ahead. Sunday's supposed to be some really, really bad inclement weather. Uh, sleet, snow, freezing rain. So what we are doing is tomorrow morning, we are getting back on the trail. We are hiking to Low Gap Shelter. And then on Saturday, we are hiking, hiking from Low Gap Shelter to Unicoi and then getting a shuttle back to here for Saturday evening and all day Sunday and taking a zero so that we're not on the trail. Hikers in Georgia say that when it's that type of weather, you just get off the trail. Don't, don't chance it. It's very dangerous. So we're going to spend all day Sunday here, then get the shuttle back up to Unicoi Gap 
on Monday. Just going to take one extra day on our hike, but we're we okay have with it. it. Yeah, we have it. We talked to my sister. She's okay with picking us up on Thursday instead of Wednesday, but we'll eliminate that that dangerous weather. So we have everything figured out. Our food, we have way more food <laughs> than we needed um, All as usual. All of this is going to yeah. go back and wait for us till the next time yeah. we come. We'll still have more than what we need. So I'm still concerned that we leave those two rolls of toilet paper back here over the next two days. So, um, you know, as Tracy is in her rain jacket, you can't see me. I'm standing actually here in my underwear. Um, this place, uh, Blood Mountain Cabins, actually does your laundry for you. That so, poor woman. <laughs> it's oh, got to smell so bad. Yeah. So she has all of her clothes. So 430 yeah. gets to go pick up all of her clothes, which will be wonderful. Yeah. So we did a 3.9 mile day today. Uh, which brings us about 40 miles total. We came up and over Blood Mountain, which was fantastic. Had beautiful views. We could see all the way into the Atlanta uh, skyline. It was tough. Yeah, it was a tough climb. But well worth it if you ever get to the area and want to do it. They have a lot of um, side trails that are easier, so you can take a little bit easier way to get up. But It's still, it's a climb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a climb up. So Amazing. All right, well, we're pretty much done for the day. I'm going to go take a nap, and we will probably talk to you guys tomorrow morning when we're back on the trail. Have a good evening.